Hey you guys, it's Joyce here at Shadow by Tara with a little lanyap. And tonight I will be doing the love reading for the air signs. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. They will be time stamped. Of course, it will be all in one video. Um, but the time stamps, they do help. So, let's find out what's going on in the love life for the air signs. Alright guys. Let me adjust here, and let's get started. We're going to start with Aquarius, the zodiac sign of Aquarius, making sure my dragons are how they should be. I don't want to pick up a card that I laid down upside down, you know, pick up a deck I laid down upside down. <sighs> Not ready yet. Right. Let's see what's happening in love for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. Remember, guys, these messages will not resonate with everyone. If you would like a personal reading catered to your own situation, just email me at shadowbyutero gmail.com and we can set that up. Woo! I have here the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, Aquarius. Communication, sending some communication at a long distance. Now why, oh why does that not surprise me? <laughs> so we have here the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Swords. Wow, they're just... <laughs> the Tower. These dragon cards, I'm going to tell you, they're so slippery, but I've been using them the past several days, and I tell you what, these guys deliver some pretty accurate messages here. They are very good. The Seven of Pentacles, and accuracy is what we're after. Look at this, the Queen of Wands. Oh, my. Well, well, well. Mm, mm, mm. Huh. Wait, no, no, no. Here lately, I don't know what the deal is. My cards, I just, I'm throwing them all over the place. But I can tell y'all this. Spirit is strong because lately it's been messages and messages like just ridiculous the messages spirit has lately it's a lot i don't mean the messages themselves are ridiculous but the quantity and we have the hermit i want to pull a couple of more whoa the eight of swords And the Two of Cups. Underneath the deck is the Queen of Cups. Alright, so if I haven't showed you the bottom two cards here, that was the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. I may have showed you. Okay, so I'll pick them up again if y'all not clear on what I pulled. Let me get this straight. Move these. Alright. There we are. So we have the overall energy of the Queen of Cups here. And the Queen of Cups is a nurturing, caring woman. She does not have a problem revealing her intentions and her feelings. And she has her cup of love in her hand, her dragon hanging on her arm there and she is looking at what she desires okay she sees what she wants and the Queen of Cups is usually someone pretty lucky in love now this is male or female you guys 
So, you know, gender is not a big deal when it comes to the court cards. I've said that before. You know, whoever this resonates for, it resonates male or female, okay? So, this is a cup of love being offered. The queen's energy sees what she wants and is very relaxed, very casual, like just knowing this is in the hat. You know, she knows she's got this person. All right, so the Eight of Wands is swift communication from a long distance, lots of messages, passionate messages, fast forward moving, moving could be text or email messages, but messages nonetheless, and they're going towards this Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? which you, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign person, which would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just the energies of, okay? Could be someone who isn't really showing their feelings too much, how they really feel. Um, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is very earthy, um, sometimes depicted as an earth mother type. Okay, so someone here to me is a parent. Male or female, does not matter. I feel like this energy is someone who is a, a parent, has children, a child or children. And this person is very grounded, dependable, um, loyal, but practical can be materialistic with the pentacles, somebody who is a hard worker, okay? And that's who these messages, it looks like, are going towards, okay? And I feel it's messages of love and passion going towards this person represented by the queen of pentacles. So under the eight of wands is the six of swords. Now this is leaving a difficult situation and going towards a more stable environment. Okay, this is leaving troubles behind. Usually it's someone in a boat traveling a, a, a little distance there. Sometimes it is a long distance. Sometimes it's, it's just on the other side of town. Okay, but this person is moving home you know, they're leaving one residence for another and they're looking at, in the horizon, they're looking towards it. Like that's what they want, okay? That's what their goal is right now. To leave someone or something behind and move toward this, oop, as I push it out my hand, this new residence, this place that they desire to be, that they desire to live. So next to the Six of Swords and under the Queen of Pentacles is the Tower. So for this to happen with the Six of Swords, I feel there will be, something's going to fall apart, okay? Something is going to fall apart. There's going to be things unknown, things hidden, secrets perhaps, things not yet revealed, but whatever it is, that negativity is falling away with this tower. The tower is being destroyed and all will be revealed. The lightning strikes the tower, blows the lid off, the tower is then destroyed. All negativity falls away, the fire cleanses the tower and it begins a new cycle because it has to begin again it begins anew but there will be a shake up in foundation a major shake up in foundation because somebody wants out somebody wants to leave a situation behind and move forward toward a new home a new residence and that's going to shake up things and 
a lot of things, it's going to be turmoil. It's going to be arguments. It's going to be hurt, hurt feelings. It's going to be anger. Okay? Underneath the Six of Swords is the Seven of Pentacles. All right? This is taking stock of what you have. And that makes sense underneath the Six of Swords to have the Seven of Pentacles because you want to see, you know, the rewards of what you have thus far reaped. You know, you want to see how things are going. You're taking an assessment of things. Okay, Libra. Listen to me, Libra. Aquarius, you might be dealing with a Libra. As I said, Libra, and I wasn't thinking of Libra. So, Aquarius, you might be dealing with a Libra. Isn't that something? Um, or like I said, an earth sign person or someone who has the traits of an earth sign person or has earth in their chart. It could be some an earth person with air in their chart, vice versa. But this is taking an assessment of what you have. And you're going to do that if you're contemplating moving forward, which it is a contemplation because it is swords. All right, so the Queen of Wands, six underneath the tower and next to the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you can be dealing with a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or events lead to the energies of a fire sign person, or like I've said, could be someone with fire in the chart. So the Queen of Wands is ready for action. This is someone who feels passionately about the changes that are taking place and isn't going to sit idly by. This is someone who's ready to get it going. Passion, forward movement, growth. Okay, somebody who is not afraid to take charge and move forward. Okay, and that with that queen sitting underneath the tower there, You know, some of you could be dealing with two people. This could absolutely be a third-party situation with that tower in the middle of those two queens. So for some of you, you are dealing with two people, earth and fire, and trying to make a decision between the two who you want to be with. But you see... All that shit's going to fall apart if if that is what's going on with some of you. You're going to lose somebody because all hell's going to break loose. You're trying to decide who you want to make a home with. You're taking an assessment of both people. Well, who's the better choice? Okay. And I can tell you. You will pick the Queen of Wands energy. You will quick you will pick this fire sign person or the person with the energies of this fire sign. Someone who is passionate, who is physically moving forward in life. You see that wand lit up? That wand is on fire. Ready for action, ready to go. Passion, generosity, sex is someone who you are very physically attracted to. All right, and with this hermit sitting here next to this Queen of Wands, this is just how I placed it. But truly, if this is a third party situation, let me just show you how that falls. Okay, the hermit, which is. Whoever is portraying this Queen of Pentacles, this mother energy, is going to go into like a seclusion. A time out, a time to be alone. This person will withdraw, Aquarius. Okay? They will feel like they need to think things through. They need time, and they are going to be having time of solitude. 
They are going to go within. And yeah, that tower is going to fall. And with this Eight of Swords energy following the Hermit here, that is someone who really fucked themselves or feel like they fucked themselves. They can get out of it. They can absolutely get out of that energy. But they're blinded to, in this card, you know, in this deck, they're not blindfolded, but they cannot see that they're not actually a prisoner. It's a self-imposed prison. Trapped in your thoughts. Your thoughts of maybe guilt. Um, what do I do now? You know, the bounds on this person are loosely held. They can undo the bounds, undo the rope, and be free. But their thoughts are not setting them free. So whoever causes this tower, which it will be you, Aquarius, if you are indeed, which I do feel... Two stories here. Some It's a third party situation for some. And for some, you're just leaving a situation behind to move on. To start something new and you will find someone else. But for a larger majority... Yeah, this it will be a larger majority. It is a third party situation for most people. Not all, but you're gonna feel like you don't know what to do. But you see, you are gonna be with the person that you wanna be with. You've made your choice. That Queen of Wands looks good to you. And here we have the Two of Cups. Soulmate love, soulmate energy. And it sits underneath this Eight of Swords energy. And that was the dilemma. What should I do? What should I do? One person went into seclusion due to the tower falling. The other person, this is who you want to be with. This is who you are attracted to. All right? This person has more energy and passion. This is who you want to be with. This other person is not who you wanted to be with. But still, I see messages messages, passionate messages moving forward. Some of you are still giving love messages or having some type of passion with this Queen of Pentacles, this Mother Energy. And I keep saying Mother Energy because this person is a parent. This person is a mother or a father. And the whole reading, the overall energy is the Queen of Cups. So love, love, love. So I do feel, Aquarius, you love both people, but differently. And that's where you tie yourself up with this tower shit. All right. Then you feel like, oh, what the fuck? What do I do now? But I feel you're going to be with the other person, the one that excites you. All right, so. Because, yeah, that person excites you. There is a lot of air energy in here. Yeah, mainly air. Any more messages for Aquarius? So they assign Aquarius and love. All 
All right. So, yeah, there will be a new start for you. You are moving, and you will begin a new adventure with the fool. You are willing and ready to take a chance. However, you will do so, but you will also have hangman energy, meaning you may have to assess things and go in a direction that's a little different. Take another route to where you want to be. Adjust the plan. And the Knight of Wands. So yeah, you are moving forward. And you are going to move forward. Period. You're going to have a couple of times of doubt. And wanting to see things want to make sure of what you're doing before you do it which is great to think it through and to perhaps take an alternate plan an alternate route to get there but you are coming through with this passionate knight of wands energy okay so Aquarius, that was your reading. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. Down below. And I will answer whatever questions you may have. And next we are going to do Gemini. And so let me get my cards out. Let me get these ready. Get these up. And be patient, guys. Um, remember... Winter Solstice Giveaways, December 17th. So if you guys are interested in participating in the Winter Solstice Drawing, that is December 17th. You have to be a subscriber to be eligible. And I have a video on the Winter Solstice Giveaways, so please watch that for the information you need to be eligible to enter and win for drawings. You know, you can't beat that, and it's full, It's a good cause, a lot of fun. You know, it's just to have fun, all right? And let's get to it for Gemini. Gemini. The zodiac sign of Gemini. What are the messages, please, for the zodiac sign of Gemini? Love, 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 love for Gemini. Gemini. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, guys, please subscribe, like, and share. Leave comments. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the private readings I've been getting. I do appreciate it very much. Remember my holiday special for my private readings is going to last until December 31st. The holiday special for my tarot readings in December 31st. So you guys get them while they're on special. Just email me a shadow by you tarot gmail.com and we can set that up. Let me make sure I'm still recording and we will get to Gemini in love. All right, December. Whoa. All right, hold on. I gotta make sure I'm still. All right, guys. The Wheel of Fortune. There we go. If I forget to show you at first, I will show you. Don't freak out. I will show you. And I cannot wait until I get a good camera. I am ordering a camera. And I cannot wait until I have it at my disposal. This laptop is getting on my damn nerves. I'm not even going to lie. Gemini, Gemini, where are you? 
And we have the King of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups. Whoa. One flew, guys. The Page of Wands. The Two of Cups. Let me see. The King of Cups. I'll put that here. The Seven of Wands. I'll tell you what, I'm going to move that here, but I'm going to keep this here for now. The hangman. The eight of pentacles. Overall energy is the ace of wands. So, Gemini. Ace of wands energy. Passionate. New beginnings. Okay? Something you believe wholeheartedly in. Something you believe strongly in. And you are going for it. Whatever this is. And as this is a love reading, I'm going to say it's love here. Remember these messages are not for everyone. Alright, so you see that, that rainbow? Rainbow just through the gray clouds there. So yeah, new beginning, and it's a happy new beginning, okay? Wands are passion and sex and attraction and forward movement and fast movement and communication. It's awesome. Desire, you know, everything is with this Ace of Wands that is passionate and fast moving. You know, nothing is quiet with wands. They're very loud, okay? <laughs> We have the Wheel of Fortune. So yes, with this new beginning with the Ace of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, Gemini. And that's with everything. That's in your private love sector. That's in your money and career. That's everything. The Wheel of Fortune is taking over. This is karmic. This is destiny. Okay? The Wheel of Fortune is changing everything in your life right now that is of any kind of relevance in your favor. That's awesome. Next to the Wheel, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay? You could be dealing with an Earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or just uh, you could have it in your chart, or, you know... Just someone or the situation having the energies of. This could be you, Gemini. You know, having those energies of the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles is someone who is grounded down to earth. But someone who has worked very hard to build his fortune. And build it they have. Okay. Very abundant king here. A father figure. Someone you can count on. Someone who is dependable and loyal. Okay? Stable foundation here. This king is proud. This king knows what he has accomplished. Male or female, doesn't matter. But this is going full circle with this king of pentacles. He has gone through so much he has definitely absolutely earned all his pentacles and he is doing wonderful he has created 
a very, very strong, powerful, grounded foundation. He is settled. And like I said, he is the earth father. He's a dad. You know, if these energies are affecting you and it, you are a female, you're a mom. You know what I'm saying? So underneath the wheel of fortune is the nine of cups, which shows us wish fulfillment. Hopes and desires came true. Dreams came true. All right. That's what this is. This is wish fulfillment. And that's coming in. If it hasn't come in already, it is coming in. It's in the now. The energies are happening now. It's turning now in your favor if it hasn't just happened already. And sitting next to the Nine of Cups underneath the King of Pentacles is the Page of Wands, which is messages of passion, messages of love, messages of forward movement and motion, lots of communication here about something you desire or feel passionately about, something or someone. And with everything turning in your favor, with this new beginning, you know, that fits very well with this page of wands. Messages, positive messages here. Okay? Underneath the nine of cups is the two of cups. Soulmate love, soulmate energies. Alright, so some of you are having a new beginning in love with your soulmate. Some of you, it's a renewal. I'm getting a renewal for some people. A renewal of love. And it's a true soulmate bind. Like a bound, you know, relationship that you are entwined. Your hearts and your souls are bound. You're joined. That's it. This is the one. And you know, I do not feel that this is a third party situation because I have two kings here. I do not. I feel like these are your energies, Gemini. I feel like with fortune in your favor and these new beginnings in fortune, and when I say fortune, I mean in everything aspect of your life will be fortunate okay positive this is where you are at financially this is where you're at emotionally is what I'm getting this is not two people this is not that that's soulmate love and energy here and you love your mate and they love you. All right? Your soulmate, Gemini, gives you the feelings of the, queen, the king of cups. You are an air sign person and there is some air energy here. But overall, because I do see and feel air energy in these cards... But it's all the physical and the emotion more so than the thoughts. Okay? Because see, these are my dragons. My dragons are air. <laughs> and the wands are depicted as swords. Okay? You see here? So yeah, I know this is you. You see, he has a wand, but mainly in the in these this deck the wands are depicted as swords but I do have a lot of air energy with these dragons and this is emotion page of wands and two of cups you're gonna receive messages of love you're gonna be proud of it it's gonna make you happy these messages make you very happy this union makes you very happy Gemini you know this is your person and they know who they have found. Your kindred spirits. Here we have the seven of wands. Okay. And this is someone who feels that they have to guard what they have. 
all right? And that would sit next to the King of Pentacles. And yes, that makes sense. When everything is turned in your favor that you've worked for, you're going to defend it and protect it. This is protecting the hearth and home. Protecting what is yours. What is the stability here? Home, family. Okay, and I also relate home to your money because it's your money, you earned it. Where do you take it? You take it home. Where does it initially predominantly go into? Your home. You know, your home or business, but yeah, your home, you got to support your life, you know, and your family. So the Seven of Wands, somebody has to defend or feels protective of what they have, which makes sense. The Hangman... You see how the hangman, the card in this deck is, all right? This is all about seeing things at a different perspective. Opening your eyes to a certain way of thinking. A small, short delay regarding a situation and it's not that you've changed your mind. You just have to approach it in a different manner. Okay? Whatever this is. But this is seeing like different sides of a situation or seeing something differently. But acknowledging that before you make or take any action. And here we have the Eight of Pentacles. And this is work being put into a situation. This could be teaching people things, spiritual knowledge. Okay, you see how he's got the two children here and he's reading out of a book. He's teaching them from this book. Okay, and eights are movement. Eights are infinity. This is knowledge that will never leave you. Whatever it is that you are teaching someone, this is knowledge that will never leave them, Gemini. This is powerful, ancient knowledge. Whatever this is that you are doing, you are a teacher. You are scholarly, and you do affect the minds of those you teach. And again, I do feel strongly uh, influence of parenting here. This doesn't have to be your children, but it could very well be. But this is a strong influence and a positive influence in teaching and some type of scholarly, is some type of important teachings here that you're doing. Okay. So let me find out what other messages we may have for the zodiac sign of Gemini. Looks beautiful for you, Gemini. I'm not going to lie. Like, everything is worked out in your favor. But you know what? Eights are also hard work being put into things. Okay? And that we see here, this King of Pentacles did not become the King of Pentacles through sitting on their ass. This is hard work. All right? And you are going to protect all that you've worked for. Oh, and there went my dryer, but that's okay. And look at here. The emperor was sticking out of this deck. I just want, I'm going to put it on the side. But you know who this is? Gemini. You just soon be this guy here. Because this is a father figure watching over and protecting what is his, his home, his children, and everything he has created. Strong energy of the emperor. The emperor didn't become the emperor from sitting on his ass. The emperor is a teacher. You see the ankh in his hand. This is protection. You know, you see the, the cup of love next to him here by his chair. That's soulmate love. That's family. That's knowing what's important. That's someone who has gone through many battles in life. That is someone who sits on their throne that they have earned and watches over and protects what is theirs, meaning 
love, family, like everything, their kingdom. Your home is your kingdom. Your work, your home life, whatever is intensely personal to you, that is your kingdom. You are someone of authority. Someone to look up to, Gemini. Be proud. Three of Pentacles here. Someone hard at work. Teachings. Teachings, teachings, and abundance. And look, you see the green. This is a scholarly person. They're in green. The green candle. The green liquid. Okay, you see the Pentacles here. All right, this person, I'm telling you here, reminds me, I know this is the eight, this is the three. However, someone is going through a course, someone is teaching a course, but there's def definitely scholarly teachings that are very spiritual, very important teachings that you're doing. One more. Gemini. Ooh. Somebody has to address some emotional blockages here. And it is a Gemini person because this is a self, like a call out for self-help here. You know, somebody here has to face their shadow side. Somebody here has to face and conquer their fears and I have the king of swords here the king of swords communication truth air could very well be the king of swords is going to conquer their shadow side I'm going to end it there and look underneath here is the two of cups and look here two of cups energy so Perhaps it's some type of a, a fear or something you don't want to see regarding your soulmate, regarding yourself perhaps, or it's something. I do feel a lot of soulmate love and energy, but you know the first thing that's coming to my mind at this point is your soulmate is going to be supportive of you I don't feel like there's anything wrong with the relationship I really don't I think it's some type of fear within you Gemini but you will conquer it you see because you are strong you are strong minded and you are surrounded by the love of the soulmate okay you have what you need and you will be fine. You will succeed. Everything is going to be great. Okay, Gemini, don't freak out. <laughs> Life is not perfect, but you know what? Yours damn well looks like it's pretty close or getting to be pretty close. And that's in the now. That is happening. That is not something you got to wait long for. If it hasn't happened yet, it will happen soon. I guarantee it. Leave me comments. Communicate with me. You know... Let me know what's going on. Let me know if it resonates or not, this reading. But I'm going to go on, okay? Because I do have Libra. So let's hit Libra. Good luck to you, Gemini. And let's roll, you guys. Let's see what's happening. All right. Let's get all this together. Zodiac sign of Libra. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, let's 
shuffle the cards a little bit better than that. All right, the Five of Wands. We're going to let that fall out. I'll put that on the side, though, because I really... Oh, shoot. All right, y'all, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Choices, choices. Mmm. Libra and love. What is going on? Five of Swords. Yeah. I do see a lot of arguments around you, Libra. And the fact that there has got to be some type of a give and take here. Choices to be made. But you have a Five of Wands energy and a Five of Swords. So there's going to be some type of arguments. Something's not going to be pleasing to you. And there's going to be a lot of arguments. I say a lot. I mean, it's something that can be moved forward from. But we have justice in the situation. Let's see what else we have. Four of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles. I've been getting her like in almost all my readings lately. The Ten of Pentacles, overall energy. So, the Five of Wands, arguments, okay? The Five of Swords, arguments. All right, this could be some type of competition, but I see arguments here. The Ten of Pentacles marks the end of a cycle, but it is a very prosperous, happy end to a cycle. So the overall energy here will be a settled down, abundant, financially stable. That's how this cycle is going to be ending with basically happiness and stability. So we have here the Six of Pentacles. This is communications about finances. This is talks about money, job, career. And somebody feels like the pauper here. Somebody's poor mouthing. But they have money. You know, you see that 10? That's not from a poor person who, I mean, and this is work for, yes, but there has to be an equal give and take. And you don't feel like there's an equal give and take. All right, so the Six of Pentacles is this, uh, Six of Pentacles is sitting next to the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is telling me, Libra, that you're going to have some choices to make. And you see that heart with the love? The little loving cup with the heart, whatever. I said it backwards. These are all good choices, okay? But you can only pick one. That's the one you want. You want true love, all right? But... Also with the Seven of Cups energy, don't be disillusioned. This is not a fantasy. This is reality, but you're treating it in a fantastical way. Meaning, you need to remove your rose-colored glasses is what I'm saying. And I did tell somebody that recently. So with this Five of Swords, you see the fire breathing that's the arguments. But there will be justice in the situation. Things will calm down. And this is your card, Libra. Justice. So things will balance out for you from this lack of give and take that you feel that is happening. Things will balance out. Underneath this Five of Swords is the Four of Swords. Taking a respite. Taking a time out. All right, taking a break. You're tired of fighting and you need a break. Okay. 
So sitting next to the Four of Swords is the Queen of Pentacles, which sits underneath the Justice card. So I feel that there's going to be some type of a break involving this Queen of Swords. This could be an Earth sign person you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with the energies of, but this is a parent. This is a parental figure. It's either an earth sign person or someone with earth in their chart or just the energies of earth, okay, that you're dealing with. So let me pull, let me pull from this deck here. My guild didn't see what they're saying. So let's see, Libra. What messages do you have for the zodiac sign of Libra in love? What other messages do we have? The Ace of Cups. Woo! -hoo! Whoa, shit. They all want to come at us too many. They'll come back, trust me, if they were meant. Whoa. The Ten of Pentacles for the second time. And the Seven of Wands. I just had to pull that one. I'm going to put it on the side. The Seven of Wands is having to defend yourself. Yeah, there's going to be some bullshit without that. Okay? And the Knight of Wands. Damn, Gemini had that. No, not Gemini, Aquarius. Aquarius had the Knight of Wands. We're going to end with that. And here's the Empress. The energy of the Empress, which is... A mother figure card, very similar energies to the Queen of Pentacles, as I always say. So, yeah, you're dealing with a parent here. And there's going to be financial st security in this situation. The Seven of Cups, as you pick love, you put all your heart and soul into it. You do you do truly feel this is a soulmate connection. I do not have a soulmate card out here. But you do feel like your intuition is telling you that this is the ultimate love. And you do feel like this is the strongest love you have felt for someone. Okay, you do feel like your intuition has guided you to this loving relationship. Keep in mind, yes, it will be financially stable. However, you know, the Knight of Wands is not the most secure of knights. He loves romance. He loves desire. He loves passion. He is known as the in and out knight. That's the only problem with this guy. It's not to say he cannot settle down and graduate to becoming the King of Wands, but right now it's attraction, it's sex, it's something new. And I'm sorry, but that's how it is. You feel this is a soulmate connection and a soulmate love. But it's really hasn't it hasn't it hasn't built up to that yet. Okay, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying it won't. It's just not there yet. This is still fucking around. You understand what I'm saying? Aquarius had it too. All right. Who Lord? Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, I hope that you guys liked your reading. If you did, or if you didn't, leave me a comment, please, in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. If you would like a personal reading for your own situation and get to the heart of the matter, please email me at shadowbyotero.gmail.com and we will find out what in the world is going on with you and your lover. 
I will see you guys soon, soon, soon. And thank you for your time. Good night, guys.